Hey all, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenta and today let's talk about testimonials. Everybody knows that testimonials or user generated content is a powerhouse in terms of being able to provide trust and credibility for your business. So if you're not using testimonials or any kind of user generated content already, it's definitely something that we highly, I highly recommend you give it a try. So today's conversation is really about how then am I going to be generating this type of testimonial and create a process that's gonna easily take those videos and output it in a way where your content marketing, your social media manager, whoever is handling the distribution of this type of content can easily pull from it and distribute it across your various sales and marketing initiatives. So let's start with the power of testimonials. Testimonials are really powerful mainly because your customers are advocating for you. If you've been in business long enough, that word of mouth marketing is one of the best ways to get any kind of users or customers or clients. Basically, utilizing somebody else's word to uplift your brand is such a great way uh, to just start to get people to really trust into your product. So now, that part I think is pretty obvious, but how am I going to then start to create those testimonials? You're gonna probably wanna implement some sort of system in which you're gonna reach out to your customers. Maybe there's an incentive, uh, whether that's like a, a discount or an add-on or whatever it is. Maybe it's part of a survey that you put out. Whatever that is, make it really simple for your customers to provide that testimonial to you. What I mean is either have them take a phone and quickly record themselves and email that to you. Maybe you have a form intake or what I personally think is the easiest is if they're already reading that email on their computer, have them just go over to something like QuickTime and have them do new movie recording and just create a testimonial video like this. Let it be super quick. Another tip with testimonials that I found is give them questions to answer. So things like what do they enjoy the most about the product? How has their product affected their business or changed their workflow? Whatever is be specific and don't give them too many questions. I find three to five to be a nice conversation starter for them. And of course, you let them go from there and figure out what they want to say. So I've made a little testimonial video for milk. I know it's a bit biased quickness and the ease of use in terms of really love about milk video. So that's the video. I already made it on, again, on QuickTime. And so once you have that video, you're going to want to be able to take it and quickly package it so you can distribute it to your uh, teams or for you to be able to distribute it across your marketing initiatives. The tool that I'm gonna use, of course, here is Milk Video. Milk Video is well known for helping you turn your webinars into video highlights, but I always say this from time to time, and I said this in my, my testimonial, is I just love your ability to take a video that is raw, live, a webinar, and just grab the parts that are necessary and package it very quickly. So it's such a great tool for marketing at scale. I'm gonna come over here, once you have an account, I have an account, you're gonna be sent over to the dashboard, pretty self-explanatory, drop your files in here. And once you drop your files in here, what's gonna happen is you have all these file names, right? This is from all the other videos I've created and all the other work I've done, is it's going to, you can click in here, grab your video and start to transcribe it. This is another thing I like about this, this tool is you can edit via transcription. You can just grab the parts that you want to turn into video. This is a pretty short video, so I'm gonna grab all of it. And then all you have to do is click C or clip section. So just click that and give it a second. Oh, actually I didn't click it. Now give it a second, there you go. The clip is created and come over here, create as video. You can choose a layout that you may want, preview and download, that just helps you imagine what is possible. And from here, we're waiting for the canvas to launch. 
Now, depending on how you're going to distribute it, if it's YouTube, you probably want it to be on landscape. If it is YouTube Shorts, which is, I want to make a whole other video about that because there's a massive opportunity with YouTube Shorts, then you're probably going to want to do 1080 by 1920. Change that by, oops, not 1280, 1080 by 1920. This is pretty standard phone size, so it's good to remember that dimensions if you want it. So you could do it that way. Also, if you want to do it as a LinkedIn story testimonial, you could do it that way. You can also, of course, do it. Square is usually a very safe bet to put it, your testimonials out on LinkedIn, in the feed, or whether that's your Facebook page or your managed Instagram. So I like Square because it's an easy choice. So all I have to do here, I'm going to show you. So again, we took the testimonial and we want to be quick about this. We don't want your team to have to work and format this uh, for hours and hours ahead. Here we have the video. I like to typically just align it to the center. And then I also like to grab this. Notice how you have so many different editing and design options here. I'm just going to grab the tool, sorry, the copy here. This is your transcription. So what I really love about MILF videos is... There we go. I'm going to add a text on the left side here. There's a text option. So I'm going to add something like Kenta. <laughs> That's me. Kenta. Maybe it's like best part of milk. Again, I'm totally <laughs> being biased here. But let me just drag that to the center. Obviously, the color's a little off because you can't really see that. So let's just make that black. And boom, you have a testimonial piece of content now that you can add to LinkedIn or Instagram or whatever it is. Now, let's say you want to change the background color or you want to just generally get the vibe to be more of your brand aesthetics. A couple ways to do that very quickly. Either you can scroll through here and just choose a color combination based on the themes. And this is very, <laughs> I love this color combination. So I default to this. So you can go ahead and just come here and find a color combination that works for you. Otherwise, come over here to Canvas Background. You notice I'm in the Brand section, and I just click the Canvas Background, and I can change uh, the color to whatever I want it to be. Um, but again, I really love that green color. So let me find where that is, and I will... I think this was it. Yeah. So I'm going to stick. go ahead and stick to that. Now, once everything is done, and notice how it took me like less than five minutes to get this testimonial piece of content out, I'm just gonna come over here and click save and share. It'll tell you the quality, the dimensions, the format, and export time. From here, all you have to do is start export. They will email you the download file, so you don't need to sit here and wait for it to process, of course you can, but that's it. So let's recap real quick. All you're doing is the power of testimonial or user-generated content. So you want to create a process and make it as easy as possible for your client, customer, users to provide that testimonial to you. Maybe it's a quick phone video or it is a quick time video or hey, maybe you're doing a customer interview and you have that Zoom file that you can then grab and with their permission, of course, grab a parts of that where they're you know, talking about the product that you want to use as a testimonial. That's another way to do it. From there, we're dropping it into milk. We're quickly grabbing those sections that are what I would call like the highlights or the pull quotes. And then we're utilizing the tool to efficiently package it into kind of this a content format and then we just share and export and then give it to your team or to yourself to then share on your social or other marketing uh, initiatives all right good luck and let us know if this is helpful